everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another Redstone video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to build a simple hidden room underneath your clock. So if we come right over here to our clock, open up this door, and then we turn this item inside the item frame, it will open up our secret room underneath. So just turn it, get inside your clock, and we will head down to our secret room. You can also close up that door behind you. Walk on out, click this button right here, and it'll close up right behind you. And then you can do whatever you like down here. I just have a couple of armor stands and some chests. But then once we're ready to leave, all we do is click this button right back here once again. It will open it up. Click the button. And then we'll pop right on up to the top and walk outside of our clock. So this thing is actually really easy to build. All it is is a triple piston extender and a button to make the entire thing work. So the triple piston extender is actually only one wide. And then we have this section right here just for our button and our top comparator for our item inside of our item frame. So let's go ahead and start building this thing. All right, guys. So for this build, you're going to need a two by seven spacing. And you're also going to have to dig down seven. Now that red concrete block is the exact spot where our clock is going to be going. So just giving a heads up there. And I also recommend just to dig out a little bit around it as well, just so you can see all of the redstone. Now, the resources you're going to need for this build are three sticky pistons, six observer blocks, seven redstone repeaters, two redstone comparators, 14 redstone, three droppers and not dispensers, one hopper, one polished blackstone button, or you know, you can use whatever button you want, I, but I recommend using a stone or a blackstone button. We're also going to need two slabs, one glass block, one item frame, and an item to put inside your item frame. I'm going to be using a block of gold for my pendulum. You can use whatever color you'd like. Now, the blocks you're going to need to build your clock, you could change out whatever colors here you would like, but we're going to need at least one clock, one item frame, one armor stand, four spruce trap doors. You could change out your trap doors, three spruce wood planks. Again, you could change those out, two spruce wood stairs, and an acacia door. Now, I recommend the acacia door because you can actually see inside of it. I think it's the best door to use for a clock. And we are going to have to push some blocks into our armor stand. So also take out a piston and a lever. All right, guys. So once you've dug out your two by seven spacing and you gathered up all your resources, we're going to come to the bottom left hand corner. Count up three, one, two, three, and place three sticky pistons facing up like that. Then we're going to come to the backhand side of our build. That's going to be the front. We're going to place a block right next to this bottom sticky piston with two repeaters going into it, one, two, set the first repeater to four ticks delay. Next up, place a block behind this one tick delay repeater, put a piece of redstone on top of it. Then right above your four tick delay repeater, we're gonna take out some observer blocks and place an observer block facing up off of that four tick delay repeater. Next up, place another observer block coming out of this observer block, going into the side of the sticky piston, you know you'll place it right, when you have your arrow on top of it facing towards the sticky pistons. Next up, place a slab upside down right behind this observer block with a piece of redstone on top of it. Place a repeater coming out of that redstone set to three ticks to light with a piece of redstone in front of it. Next up, we're going to come up a glass block right here with a piece of redstone on top of our glass block. Then right above this three tick delay repeater, we're going to place another observer block facing up with another observer block facing towards our sticky piston with a piece of redstone on top of it. And then we're going to need a block of choice in front of this redstone. You will be able to see it once the build is done. So I'm just gonna use stone brick for my walling. So this is gonna be your walling for underneath and for the top area if you wanna keep it all the same, but I'm just gonna use some stone brick. Place that right next to your redstone and then place another slab upside down right behind this observer block with a piece of redstone on top of it. Next up, we're just gonna add a little part for our button for later on, but we're gonna come right back down here to this redstone, place a block out, piece of redstone coming out of it, place a repeater coming out of that redstone on one tick delay, block in front of it, and a piece of redstone there. Next up, swing to this side of your build and off the second sticky piss in the middle one right here, we're gonna place an observer block coming right out of it. Place a block in front of that observer block with two pieces of redstone going into the top of this sticky piston. And now that should be your entire triple piston and a little bit of our button completely done. So we can go ahead and test this out. So first off, we're gonna have to put a block of choice right above that sticky piston. Now I'm gonna be using spruce wood planks right here. So whatever colors you're gonna be using for your clock, we're gonna place that right on top of our sticky piston like that. Now we can go ahead and test it out. So just take out your lever, come to the backhand side and off of any two pieces of this redstone right here, place your lever, flip it down. Your triple piston extender should be flush to the floor, so everything extended out fine. Then once we flip up the lever, oh, I pressed it twice. <laughs> once we flip up the lever, it should retract the entire thing. So I'll do it one more time. 
goes up, flip it up, and it goes all the way down. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is add in our T flip flop for our button underneath. So make sure it's in its retracted position. We're going to come right here. We're going to take out another block of choice, come up one, over one, break this block, and our button's going to be going right here off the backhand side. Then right underneath where our button is, we're going to take out our droppers, make sure they're droppers, not dispensers, and we're going to place one right off this observer block facing towards us. Then going into the top of this dropper right here, we're just going to place a block and place a dropper facing up into this dropper right here. Then right next to our block of choice right here, we're going to place another dropper facing down. Take out your hopper, go into crouch, and go ahead and place your hopper in the side of this bottom dropper right here. And that will make our hopper dropper T flip flop. Next up, go into the top dropper, place any item inside of it. It does not matter. So let's go ahead and just place one piece of redstone, any item. Just make sure there's only one item inside this entire thing. Then we're going to place a piece of redstone right on top of it. And then coming out of the bottom right here, our bottom dropper, we're going to place a block, place a redstone comparator coming out of this dropper, place another block in front of this redstone comparator with a repeater coming out of it and then a block in front of that repeater. So like I said before, this line was pretty much basically set up just for our button right here. Then right next to our dropper right here, we're going to place a block, place a repeater going into that redstone. Another block behind this with another repeater. The only reason we have to use two here because we can't have it connecting to this redstone. And then we're just going to place a block up like this. And we'll come back to this later because this is where our whole item frame where we turn the item will activate our secret room. So now if I click this button right here, it should go up. There we go. And then if we click the button again, it should retract it. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is actually make sure it's extended all the way up because now we have to build our clock and put our item in the item frame to make everything work. All right. So before we build our entire clock, let's go ahead and put in our pendulum first because we do have to push around an armor stand. So whatever color your walling is, just take out a staircase that matches it. Or, you know, just you're just going to need a transparent block for this because we're going to be putting the armor stand over it and we don't want any redstone activating our armor stand, making it move, especially on bedrock. So what we're going to do now is come right behind where our block of choice is, and we're just going to place in a staircase backwards. Then right above this staircase, we're going to take out an armor stand. And now I like to face it actually this way in case you accidentally put an item inside of it. You won't see that item. And then go ahead and go into crouch and make sure its arms are down on its side. Next up, place a block next to that armor stand. And then on the opposite hand side where all of our redstone is, we're going to place a block. And place your piston facing towards that armor stand and then flip down the lever to push the armor stand in place now that our armor stands in place we can go ahead and push the blocks inside of it so what we're going to do now is take out our block of choice for our clock mine's going to be spruce wood so go ahead and place in whatever color block you're using so i'm going to place in my spruce and then we're going to push that into our armor stand with our piston so place your piston in send power to it and push the block into place then right on top of it, we're going to do it again. We're going to take out our piston, place it here. And this time, instead of using a full block, we're going to use a transparent block that is the color of our clock. Mine's still going to be spruce, so I'm going to be using spruce wood stairs. So we're just going to come up a block right here now. Place in your staircase backwards like that. And go ahead and just send power to this piston. And now that will hide up that armor stand completely. Now, the reason we have to use a transparent block here, because if we leave the game and come back in, the armor stand might pop out of the wall, and we don't want that. Now, we can go ahead and remove this block as well, and that will kind of give us that little pendulum arm thing right there. Then, on the block right below the armor stand, we're going to have to look in the corner, make sure you can see the outline of the block. See, I can see my outline here. I can't see it here, because if I put it here, it will go inside the armor stand's hand, and we don't want that. So, what we're going to do is look right at the top corner of this block and place in our armor stand. Next up, we're going to place a block inside of here. I'm going to be using gold, so it looks like a nice gold pendulum. So I'm going to take out my gold block. I'm going to place it inside of my armor stand. So now it's time to build the actual clock itself. So take out whatever flooring blocks you want to use on your top floor. I'm going to be using dark oak because my, my clock is spruce. My clock is spruce. And then my whole floor is going to be dark oak. Then we're going to take out some spruce trap doors. Place two here. Flip them open. Same thing on this side. Place two trap doors here. 
and go ahead and well close them i should say not open. well no that's open yeah flip them open <laughs> and then right in front of it we're going to go ahead and look backwards and place our acacia doe off the front then right on top of it we're going to place in a spruce stair backwards like that there we go swing to the front place your item frame in and then go ahead and take out your clock now and place it inside of that item frame so there is our clock completely done we can also go ahead and clean up the back as well so let's just take out our walling block for the back and put that up and around our clock there we go now all we have to do is just a little bit of redstone for this item frame right here so we're going to swing to the backhand side and off the block that has our item frame with the item we are now going to place a redstone comparator coming out of it it came on because my item frame is right here so when i turn the block it will send different pulses to this comparator then what we're going to do is come out one block from it with a piece of redstone place your observer block facing down off of this block right here with a piece of redstone on top of it place a block right in front of that observer block and then a piece of redstone off the side of this block going into those two repeaters that's going to activate our t flip flop so now when i flip the item in the item frame it'll send a pulse to it opening up our secret base and then when i flip it again it will close it up so there you guys have it you are completely done so now all that's left to do is clean up the area so what i recommend to do actually is open it up so you know where your flooring is first so now we can come down here add a couple blocks on the side oh you know we're not completely done we're not completely done don't leave yet <laughs> i almost forgot you cannot have a full block here right here where this redstone's going well you can have if you want to have a full block here if you absolutely need a full block here you're gonna have to place a block next to this dropper and then just put a lever or a button to redirect that redstone because that redstone is going to go into a full block actually breaking the entire thing so actually i'll show you what i mean so let's get rid of this now if i send a pulse to it it will go up fine but now if we go ahead and try to retract it with our button right here as you can see it will get stuck because it's sending too long of a pulse to that redstone but if we redirect it like this so let's go ahead and extend up our triple piston once again and now we go ahead and try to retract it it will work absolutely fine because we redirected the redstone so if you absolutely need a full block there just redirect that redstone with a lever a button a pressure plate really doesn't matter but if you really don't care and you don't want to use a lever all you really need to do is just take out a staircase of whatever color you're using here place it in sideways right above this dropper and place another one next to it like that and that will make it look like a full block from the front so let's go ahead and clean up the area now so this is going to be the wall underneath and then you're also going to have your second floor down here and you can also bring it down as well with staircases right here so you don't have to hit your head on top of the ceiling but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to go ahead and just clean it up like this there we go perfect and i'm back and i just went ahead and cleaned up the area so when we want to go in there all we have to do is come here flip the item inside of our item frame get inside of it and go down and of course we close this door behind us and then click this button right here and now no one will know we're inside of here you could do whatever you like down here it's completely up to you but then of course once we're ready to leave just click this button right here click it again go back up into our clock and leave the area like nothing was there but there you guys have it that's how you build a hidden room underneath a clock inside of minecraft bedrock if you enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.